Hello again, Terrence here from Neptune Systems bringing you another informative video to help you with your Apex system. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get an awesome full color touchscreen interface for your Apex for just $50. I'll show you how to configure it and even give you a couple of mounting options. So let's get started. Over the last few years, we've been constantly asked, when are you guys going to come out with a full color touchscreen for your Apex? Of course, we've had the capability to do it, but since controllers like the Apex are web page and app driven, why would you want some overpriced, dedicated screen from us or another manufacturer when buying an inexpensive tablet is a much easier, cheaper, and simpler solution? Because of the small market size for aquarium controllers, having a fancy display on any controller is many times the cost of simply buying a tablet for the same purpose. Also existing touchscreen controller displays are bulky and they're married to the base of the controller. This makes them difficult to mount in a convenient place or an eyesore if you want to put them outside your aquarium stand. On the other hand, a tablet is a slim and clean interface that can complement your aquarium design and also be used in a handheld manner when standing right in front of your aquarium. In recent months, the price of tablets has dropped to insane levels. Right now you can get a 7-inch full-color Android tablet from Amazon for just $50. So this is one of the reasons we didn't include a standard display with the new Apex. So rather than forcing you into our solution for a display, we decided to keep the price down by not including it and then give you the choice to pick your own user interface and save you some money as well. So the first thing you got to do is go get the tablet. So go to amazon.com slash fire and there's a number of different models with different memory capacities, screen resolutions, and colors. The one I got was just $50 and with a few tweaks it works great as a dedicated aquarium control panel. Okay, so your Amazon Fire tablet has arrived and when you open it you'll find that there's a ta the tablet, a charger, and the charging cable. So there's enough power in the batteries from the factory and you can get right into setting it up. Turn the power on with the button on the top and go through the configuration screens that ask for your home Wi-Fi information, Amazon account, time zone, etc. When you're finished, you'll be put at the home screen. Now we have to do a couple of tweaks to get the tablet to not go to sleep and to load a different browser so we can make it go full screen. Unfortunately, the built-in Silk browser no longer allows this. So if you don't want the address bar, just go get the Dolphin browser at dolphin.com download. Download it, and when it finishes downloading, you'll see something that says install. Do that, and when you're done, it'll take you back to the home page. One more thing we need to do is to prevent the tablet from going to sleep. This step's not mandatory, but since this will be a permanent control panel, many will want it to stay up all the time, so with a glance, you can see what's going on in your aquarium. Unfortunately, there's no longer an easy way for this to be done on the Amazon Fire tablet, so we'll have to do it from the developer menu. Ooh, scary. Well, not really. To open this menu, go to the tablet's home screen and swipe down from the top. Select the gear icon for settings and scroll down until you see the serial number. Now this part's a little crazy. Tap it seven times. It's kind of like a Mario Brothers cheat code. Once you do, a new menu button will open up and that'll be developer's options. At the top, you'll see the option that says, stay awake, screen will never sleep while charging. Slide that switch over and it'll turn green. Select the home button and go back to your home screen. Now, somewhere on that home screen, you should find the Dolphin browser icon. Select that to open the browser. In the top right side of the menu bar, you'll see a little icon that looks like a puzzle piece. Select that and a menu will slide open. The first icon will say full screen. Select that. So now your tablet's been configured to run the browser full screen and also not to go to sleep when the charger's plugged in. In the address bar, simply type apexfusion.com and and then log into Apex Fusion. Select your aquarium from the list, and when the dashboard shows up, simply scroll the screen up slightly, and the address bar will disappear. Now plug in your tablet, and it'll stay up on the screen 24-7. If you don't use Apex Fusion, you could instead type the local home network IP address for your Apex system. So now what about mounting options? Personally, I prefer the simplest of methods, which is a 2 by 3 inch piece of heavy-duty Velcro. This keeps the tablet low profile and makes it easy to get to when I want to use it in a handheld manner. Alternatively, you could purchase any one of the tablet mounts out there. Here's one that has a nice gimbal on it that allows the tablet to tilt up or down at any angle, which could be great for some aquarium stand situations. Well, I hope this video was helpful in showing you what a great Apex interface you can get for just $50. And if you ever get tired of using it for that, well, there's always Angry Birds. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel. That way you'll get updated anytime we release a new video. Until next time, this is Terrence from Neptune Systems. Take care.